Have you ever talked to someone and when you ask them, their response is not what you expect? Or they ask you back with something like, huh? Or what? Then you have to repeat your question to them. Or it's happened to you? Have you ever found a moment when you do not hear the words from your interlocutor properly? So you have to um, ask them to repeat their question over and over. That's distracting. And have you realized that this situation is mostly happened to old people? Right, this is called perspicacies. So, perspicacies sufferers are those who are gradually losing their hearing ability as they age. And it's mostly happened to 65 years old people and over. And once they are in a conversation, it will make the conversation itself ineffective. Let me show you. So, I have an 80 years old neighbor who cannot hear sound properly. She comes to my house at least twice a month, meet my mom and ask for pita leaves or in Indonesia, we say it down city. So I hear there is slow conversation often enough. Yeah, slow conversation. Because when my mom asks her, she just remains silent or if she responds, it is just a chuckle or says, huh? Or pie? So pie is Japanese language for the word what. So what? Just to make sure what she heard was correct or respond with an off-topic answer. So, if you are communicate with presbycacy staffers and you are expect to have a one-minute conversation, then you will get at least two or three minutes extra, and most of it will be you explaining carefully what you said earlier or repeating your own words to them. That's amazing. In fact, this cannot be cured and all you can do is to speak to them louder. It might make you as if you mad, but do it, it works. The second way is use gestures, such as nodding when saying yes or shaking head when saying no. The other way is to slow down our intonation, like instead of saying, I'm not feeling well, we better say, I'm not feeling well and make sure they look at our lips because this helps them so much. So make sure we do these tips when we communicate with them because they need our passion. Of course, they lose their hearing ability not because of their own will. So we as people who still have normal hearing have to give in because we never know whether in our old age we lose our hearing ability or not. So, treat others as we want to be treated. Thank you.